Welcome back, everybody. This is Nyakit. I'm here with Miakin. Um, and we are playing Sweden. And um, that's it. Oh, we just started a huge war, didn't we? Or, or we joined one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, that's so, a problematic war that we've been worried about. Yeah, it's here. It's finally here. I'm excited. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we've got Muscovy over here with his huge armies. Uh, Poland and Lithuania. So I'm going to look through the ledger real quick before we get started. Lithuania looks healthy. Um, 22,000 troops, 34,000 manpower. That's a good thing. Um, yeah, very happy. Uh, 23,000 for Poland, 13,000 manpower. Not bad. I think that's about level with Teutonic Order. Um, <clears throat> it might be better. No, better. Teutonic Order, 18,000 troops, 7,000 manpower. Ooh. Yeah, and then Livonian, 9,000 troops, 13,000 manpower. So, well, what does Muscovy have here? 30,000 and 40,000. You know, he's got a big reserve of manpower, but, um, I mean, I think our alliance is a, well, <laughs> that's what we thought last time, is ahead in this uh, war. And since the war goal is directly aimed at Teutonic Order, at least we know Poland's not going to walk off it. Yeah, exactly. And maybe we can, if we can pull enough of um, Moscow's attention off of them, uh, off of uh, Poland and Lithuania, we may be able to let them take some of that Teutonic Order territory, and then we can have them join our war against Moscow later. True. Um, okay, so you want to you want to send our guys north then and um, go against Muscovy. I'll finish, yeah, sure. Um, I'll finish the oh, fight I, against um, Norway. Yeah. Then I'll send these guys up north then. Okay. So you, do you accept the call to arms already? Yes, I accept it. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm going to unpause. Oh, I think I'll, I'll bring some of these forts back up, just like the coastal ones. <clears throat> Feel free to take any of the to control of any forces that you need. Um, I'm just going to try to finish this one Reykjavik uh, province off. Okay, so I'm going to unpause it. Okay. Got a lot of troops down here. Oh, shit, I don't know if we're going to win this one. Fuck. Did not win the Reykjavik. <laughs> okay. You know what? Let's see what we need to do to peace out Norway. Okay. Let's see what, you know. Oh, I gotta. I mean, can we vassalize him? I don't think we're gonna be able to. No, we're gonna have to take all this stuff. We could humiliate him. Um, it would give us, yeah, it would give us a truce for nine years. Seems kind of long, but I bet this war is gonna be long. So it gets us power projection. It kind of resets, you know, our war. Um, and then you know, it gets us something we don't have to, you know, it takes us off of this. We don't have to worry about him. Get war reparations. Should we um, take like one center or something like that for them? One yeah. province? Yeah, we could take a bunch, really. Um, we could take, say, Bauhausland and um, Finnmark, like the northern and southernmost things he has, so then we can just focus west the next time we declare on him. And... Or we could take. Actually, we could take this Icelandic province. That that might help us in the next war. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? So we have like a base, kind of? Um, can we take... Hold on. Can we take all of Iceland? We can mm. take all of Iceland. We can. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, I like that. Take all of Iceland. Yeah. All right. That and war reps and... Uh, a couple little islands... Which are basically useless, um, and 
he ke it keeps all of his forces near us where we can just conquer him later pretty easily. Yeah. Let's yeah, that's that. good. Okay. I sent the, um, the thing. Okay. I'm going to move awesome. these troops, if you don't mind uh, coring those. Um... Yep, sure, I'll core. Ooh, we have a we have a coring problem. It's too far. Ooh. Didn't calculate that. Well. I said we didn't calculate that. Um, could we sell it to Denmark? Probably not. Maybe. I don't know. <clears throat> um, you can take care of the war. I'll look at dealing with Denmark. Okay. Uh. No, because we're at war, we can't we can't uh, sell provinces. Shit. Ah, fuck. We did not think about this one. It was just so good. Couldn't uh, couldn't yeah. resist. I'm knocking out some of these uh, boats here. Okay. Um, what should I do about the army that we have up here in, in uh, Iceland? Um, well, I guess we should get it out of there, huh? Okay. Let me just kill this. The transports? Uh, yes. Well, it's kind of dangerous, too. You have Teutonic over here as well. Okay. Um, let me come kill those, and you can just use the whole fleet. Because that would, that would have wiped out most of his fleet already anyway. Okay. Actually, you can use them to do that. I gotta just kind of look at these armies. Sure, I'll take care of the fleet. Oh, come on. Faster, faster, faster. Let's go faster, let's go faster. Boom. Ah, shit, Teutonic is beating us, I think. Yes, he is. Should I retreat? Um. Yeah. yeah, you should retreat. It's not an inland sea, so it's it's tough. Okay, retreating. We lost a couple. We could afford to build some more. Um, yeah. Um. I think I'm going to build an early Carrick. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got an event. I got to um, slow this down to two. Yeah. Right. Is this... Paused it right out. Um, we can lose 2,000 manpower, or we can lose five prestige, and uh, Vyborg um, gets average penalties. It's the Winter Siege event. Um, five prestige because um, yeah, I'm about to. Yeah, I don't. I don't want you to look at Viborg right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just looked at Viborg. I'm not excited <laughs> about what's happening in Viborg. Yeah. So. Um. Okay. I'm. I'm gonna unpause and go down to minus two. Yeah. Cause it's, it's too much like zigzagging going on with the troops. Okay. I kind of got caught. I think we're still okay here um, in this war. We lost a lot of ships, actually. Yeah. Uh, it's okay, though. I mean, you see, like, their troops are just all in the wrong places, mm -hmm. uh, the enemy. Um, if they can just stay in one place, we should be able to siege on this stuff. We're taking out loans. Okay. 
Um, I can up our dip tech if you want. Um, I'd just as soon hold off and, and get the ideas up. Okay. Because we can get calf costs down. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. That's what we're doing because the next one is naval leader. Yeah. Um, bonus. Definitely getting out. And um, we can also get the quantity idea of reduced uh, regiment costs. Um, yeah, yeah. There we go. So cavalry is really cheap now. Um, so I'm going to work on rebuilding this army that I blew up. Sorry about that. Uh, so we have a couple of uh, missions also. We have a naval race versus Teutonic Order, which means we have to get to a 13 size fleet. Um, and that gives us some naval bonuses. Um, still have Recover Finland, which we're probably not going to do, and also re rebuild, uh, create a proper fleet, which has reduced shipping costs and stuff. So I think we just go with the naval race, because I'm going to have to build the fleet anyway. Yep, true. Um, I have an event, uh, Catholicism, plus 1%, and gain 2 papal in uh, influence, or minus 20 papal state uh, opinion. Um, sorry, I missed it. What was that? Reform desire, um, mm -hmm. or uh, loss of opinion from papal state. Reform desire. Pretty close to uh, maxing out our papal influence. Yeah. Um. Doo -doo -doo. Eek. Uh, we are taking a little bit of a hit on the money, and I need to build more stuff. So that's not a good combo. Um. So yes. Oh, Ooh, great, France great. announced this as a rival. Okay. Oh, that's a little bit rough. Well, I think we need to trim our advisors down. Okay. Um, I think we can afford to lose the military guy and the diplomatic guy. I would like to keep the inflation guy. Yeah, I think that's, that's fine. We can drop him. And then we can build whatever we want because we have another three ducats okay. a month. So build your, build your navy because I'm going to need to build up a, a few army pieces too. Cogs out here. Two. We might have to take a couple of loans. Yeah. I'd rather avoid the loans, but... I mean, I could also just sit here and take maintenance off the army. Oh, Jesus Christ. I might do that. So now oh, we're making you... like five and a half a month. Okay. And I can oh. trim down some of these um, forts. Maybe. I mean, we're still at war, right? Like. Yeah, we're at war, oh, but I mean... Teutonic Order is in Midland. Yeah, I see. 24. Him. I mean, like, I don't need Gotland. Fort. I don't need Smallin's Fort right now. All right, Midland's over. Lost Midland. Um, Just trying to get money so we can build up um, the army again. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Did we lose everything in the army? We lost, like, half of it. No, not half of it. We lost... Yeah, half of it. Okay. I think I can get some of that army back. I don't think he has a navy present, so I'm going to sneak out. I, I uh, accepted military access from the Hansa. Sounds good. <laughs> All right, I snuck out. I'm going to be able to get those three... The four military out um, and back onto the mainland. Cool. So oh, yeah, I forgot about those. Yeah, okay. Um, wait, you built cogs? I needed a couple. Oh, okay. Um... um and I'm also going to... I haven't built everything else. I figured that we needed to be able to move these troops a little bit 
better. Uh, probably should have talked to you about that instead of just doing it. No, it's okay. Um, I, I would. I might throw down a few galleys though. I'm, yeah, I'm, that's that's the next step. Um, okay. Galleys. Our alliance is not looking strong. Uh, actually, let's cut this down, I think. <clears throat> it's kind of a mess what happened. All right, let what me... With... <laughs> what is with these guys? <laughs> They're just not good. Is the AI worse for Poland? Just like out of like some type of... AI is so terrible. Weird function. Like they're somehow losing this war. Yeah, this is a they war. Sh they should, they should be winning this war. Yeah. yeah. What's her military tech like? Eight. Lithuania seven. Moscow's eight. We're eight. I, I dropped uh, three units off in Sagan. Nice. Thanks. Yep, no problem. I have one more I'm going to get. So two one one, eleven, two three. Um, unrest is getting a little high. It'd be war exhaustion. Yeah, it's war exhaustion. Let's pay it down. Um, we could I boost can, stability too. Yeah, so I can do stability. I think okay. that's a better option. And we're not too far from being able to do a stability with, um, Papal influence either, so. The Norwegian separatists are growing fast, though. Okay. Two years, just keep an eye on it. That's fast. Uh, we've already given them a lot of autonomy. Um, oh, he's even given autonomy, given autonomy to those two new provinces. Oh, yeah, that's right. All right, I'm going to do that. Okay. Yeah, that makes it a lot more manageable. Yeah, seven years, we're good. They're pretty autonomous, though, at this point. So what's our um, combat width again? Forgot how to combat. determine that. Oh, it's um, ten. I see. Yes. Where? Where did you find that? I thought that was where. It, where I'm looking at is not where it was. When you go to military tech, all the way on the right side in the oh, center. Right. Okay. Yep, you're right. Okay. So that means our combat. No, but our combat width isn't ten. It's more than that. Must be more than that. Um, I returned another force into Sagan. This one, it's more than that. Uh, they're attacking Skane. Okay. We might have <clears throat> enough to take it out. Um, or we I'm gonna build okay. a couple more infantry units. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna activate Smallland. Okay. I'm gonna bring the army maintenance up a little bit so I can move these guys. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna bring it up the whole way. Uh, 
uh, recall Bohemian Diplomat. Mm -hmm. If we, win, if we can win that fight against uh, Teutonic, it'll be a big deal. Yeah. I think we can do it. We've got a we've got an excellent general. Too bad it's our king, but we've got to use him. <laughs> yeah. The general isn't great. I don't think there's a river crossing. There's not a river crossing from Smallland. It's farmland, so he doesn't get any um, any uh, defensive bonus. Oh, we don't get any attacker penalty, I should say. I think it's time. I hope we even just get there fast enough. Yeah. Uh, oh, I put our army force limit over. Crap. Wait, well, you no, know, it's fine. I'll attack and then I'll consolidate. Well, that should um, take care of that. Can you should you shouldn't you consolidate before or no? Well, I, I mean, um, consolidate regiments like to cut oh, down the regiment okay. number. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. I'm gonna attack right now while he's at zero percent. Morale is oh, morale's not full. I'll wait a month. Yeah, wait a month. I think we're gonna be good. He's got three artillery units. We have six. He's got a lot more cav. Five cav draw two. We have 17 to his 14 infantry regiments. Um, I drew out his uh, na his blockading force, so they're not blockading that spot anymore. Okay. So you'll be able to cross it if uh, if you if you win, then you can follow him. Our tactics are better too, which is good. Oh yeah, we got oh, him. That's, yeah, Crushed that's him. Good. That's really good. Awesome. Nice. That was a big one. That was a big fight. Good job. I'm gonna follow him now while I can. Yeah, follow him up. Um, they still have. They're still trying to prevent my fleet comfort from coming out. Two tank order is gonna run the whole way, so I'm not gonna chase him. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I just want to peek to see how far he goes. Maybe he goes to Verdun. Okay. He goes to Verdun, I attack him. He, he did, he did, he did, yeah. Nice. That's good. That's good for us. Yeah. I mean, we won't wipe him out, but we'll kill a lot more of his manpower. Oh, we wiped him out. We wiped him out. Yes. Get out of here. Fuck, yeah. All right, so I'm going to see John Verdun. I might as well, I'm here. Yeah, see, I think there might be two territories there. Yeah, I can't walk to it, though. Okay. It's blocking my movement to the next one. Oh, okay. I'll uh, I'll siege back mid midland. So we have that back. Sweet. And he's still trying to blockade me, so. We're good. Um, war taxes. I think yeah, so. It might be worth it. Yeah. Yeah, it saves us a few ducats a month. Um, but we are getting some. Uh, war exhaustion is getting pretty high. Um, I can drop that. I can put a reduction in for that. Yeah, I think so. Okay. That gives us a little bit more time. Yeah. <laughs> um, ah, oh, shit, Jesus Christ. We're gonna lose the stability stability because of an event. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do it. At, um, we're gonna do it, but we're also gonna reduce technology cost by five percent. All right. I'm gonna increase. I'm gonna boost the stability back up. Okay. I'm off all the forts. Doesn't seem necessary to have them up now. I think we're good. Yeah. Trying to avoid or delay a uh, a loan. Uh, looks like Teutonic and Muscovy and Livonian are all moving around in Teutonic orders territory. Yeah. Um, hey, Brandenburg actually did something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
But yeah, Verdon actually, by us taking Verdon, that might be good for the the war score. I mean, we've actually done quite a bit, considering. Yeah, we've been a very good ally. Um, and we're in a position where, like, it's not like our territory is going to be given away now. Because, yeah. you know, so nothing of ours has been taken, which is good. Um, so, you know, if we lose the war, we lose the war. It's going mm -hmm. to be Poland and Lithuania that get screwed. You know, maybe he annuls treaties again. Uh, yeah. But uh, it's fine. You know, we'll still have, it'll be like last time, we'll have that period of truce. Mm hmm. And it's going to be longer than the truce we have with Norway. So, it, you know, it, it, yeah, we have the right tempo. Yeah. I think we're going to have a better navy next time, too. Yes. Yes. So I'm kind of slowly pulling to get together under his oh. nose. We're making money all of a sudden. Oh. Yep. You know, because the manpower taxes. wasn't. Uh, yeah. We were losing a lot before. I was like, whoa. Oh, what is this? Lithuanian. Man, they have a lot of fleets in our. Uh, um, in our seas. Yeah, um, it's creating war exhaustion, right? Yeah, it's not doing. Not it's not so good for us. Um, but they're not complete blockades. Only the one is com a complete blockade. And we can't even like pick one to fight because that fifteen stack is. Yeah, it's blocking our best fleet, which is still pretty small. Yeah, it's, <laughs> our best fleet is a is one galley and four transports. Um, I have two separated uh, early Carricks, but that's not very good either. Um, yeah, they're in the they're in the wrong oceans, all of them. Yeah, everybody's in the wrong spots. So, I mean, he, he caught us out of position. So I rolled our air uh, as a general too, only because I see he's not really that great. Actually, kind of want him to die. Um, yeah, I do that sometimes. <laughs> yeah, and he's a, he's a better general actually than he is a heir. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot the timer again. Oh, okay. <laughs> <Of course> <laughs> We're very sorry, people who may actually be paying attention to this. Yeah. We'll eventually get better about keeping ourselves to a certain amount of time. Yeah, for those who care about production out value out there, um, very sorry. It's not, it's not one of my strong suits. All right, so next time, see the continuing progression of this uh, offensive war of our ally. And, oh, hello. Oh, yeah, I, you know what? I think that's a good place to, yeah, okay. call a break. Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll keep finishing up this. Are you done? Uh, no, I mean, we could probably wrap up the episode because I'm not sure how long we've been going. Okay, yeah. Sorry, and then, right. you know. Oh, oh. All right. And that, uh, that means we're done. <laughs> yeah, okay. Bye, everybody.